Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inusor Education. I would like to continue solving uh, trigonometric equations. Um, as usual, um, I encourage you to, to do it yourself first before you listen to this lecture. Uh, so just go to Unisor.com. This is problems two in trigonometric equations uh, topic. Um, and again, as usual, I'm <laughs> I would like to mention that None of these uh, problems you will uh, meet in your practical life, practical experience, whatever the work you, you, you do, uh, except in the very, very few cases. Uh, so why do we do it? Well, as usual, I'm just stating that this is a, an excellent tool to develop your creativity, your intelligence, your ingenuity, and, uh, and analytics. So that's the purpose. It's the development, mind development, not any kind of skill or whatever you can you can learn from here. All right. So let's solve these equations. Equation number one is very simple actually. Cosine to the fourth degree x minus sine to the fourth degree x equals to a. Well, uh, uh, it shouldn't really scare you this fourth degree, etc. Uh, well, just because there are very um, simple transformations which you can use to basically reduce this equation to something very, very simple. And here it is. First of all, cosine to the fourth degree is cosine square square, right? So that's what it is. Cosine square x square minus, same thing with the sinus sine square. That's the same thing, right? Now, the difference between two squares, you know, u square minus v square is equal to u minus v times u plus v. I'm sure you remember it, and those who don't, just multiply these, whatever uh, u and v mixed will, will be reduced. This is plus and this is minus, so you will have only u square minus v square. So, I will use this, where u is cosine square and v is sine square. So, it's a cosine square x uh, minus sine square x times cosine square x plus cosine uh, sine. So. Oops. Sine square. Is this this is equal to 1 cosine square plus sine square of any angle is equal to 1 so what's left is this now cosine square x minus sine square x equals to p now this is again I hope you recognize this formula if you don't go back to the previous lecture and you will see that this is exactly a cosine of 2x. Now, and this is something which we have solved many times before. It's 2x equals to arc cosine a plus 2 pi n, where n is any integer, and this is plus or minus. From which we conclude that x is plus or minus one half of arc cosine uh, of a plus uh, so it's two in this two so I'll reduce by two and it will be pn where n is any integer number that's the answer so that's very simple and there are only two things which you um, really uh, should remember that one formula which I was using is the difference between two squares and the second one is the cosine of a double angle this one um, now uh, as I was saying I usually uh, don't remember the formulas I prefer to derive them on the fly but some formula I mean some formulas you probably have to remember 
And these two, by the way, are among those which I personally do remember by heart, like cosine square minus sine square is cosine of a double angle, and the, sum, the difference between two squares is difference, difference between them times sum of them. Well, um, I, I, actually, it's up to you what to remember and what to derive. I'm just sharing my personal uh, attitude towards this. All right, next problem. So this is easy. Next would be slightly more complex. Okay. Cosine x times cosine 2x plus cosine 4x equals 1 8. Well, this is something which um, definitely requires certain ingenuity, certain artificial technique, certain trick, if you wish. Um, and if, you, if, if this particular technique comes to your mind, great, it's simple. If it doesn't, then it's probably very difficult to solve otherwise. So, um, let me uh, just share this particular trick with you. Let's multiply both sides uh, by, uh, well, by sine of x, and also I will put this 8 on this side, so by 8 sine x. So on the right, we will have sine x. If I multiply by 8 sine x, on the left, I will have 8 sine x, cosine x, cosine 2x, and cosine 4x. Now, when I multiplied by sine x, what happens with solutions to this equation? I might actually add solutions which are not really the solutions of the original equation, because I'm multiplying by something which contains an unknown x. So, which extra solutions I'm adding? Well, those where sine, f, uh, sine, sine of x is equal to zero, right? Because if sine of x is equal to zero, it's solution to this equation. Obviously, it's zero here and zero there. Now, is it solution to the original equation? Well, let's check it out. Now, if sine x is equal to zero, that means x is equal to pi n, now, cosine of pi n, remember, cosine is abscissa. So pi n is 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. So it's these two points. And abscissa of this point is 1. Abscissa of this point is minus 1. So this cosine is either 1 or minus 1. Cosine of 2x if x is pn is always this point, so it's always 1, and 4x is 4pn, it's also uh, 1. So it's minus or plus 1 times 1 times 1, it can never be equal to 2 to 1 eighths, right? So any solution of this type is no good. So if at the end, after we solve this particular equation, we will have certain solutions, we must check and those which are one of these, we should really exclude. They are extraneous. They don't belong to the original solution. So let's just remember this, that x should not be equal to pi n, where n is any integer number. Now, after we have identified these extraneous solutions, let's solve this guy. And this is very easy. Look, uh, out of this 8, I will have 2 sine x, cosine x, cosine 2x, cosine 4x equals to sine x. Now, why did they do this? Why, do I, why I uh, multiplied 4 by 2 to get 8? Because of this. You recognize this formula? Again, that's something which I do remember by heart. It's sine of 2x. Sine of 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. 
because it's x plus x, it's sine x cosine x plus cosine x sine x, which is 2 sine x cosine x. All right, great. So one simplification we made. We uh, reduced two members, sine and cosine, to one. Now, what have, what, 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 what's left? Four, sine to x, cosine to x, cosine four x equals to sine x. Okay. Now, let's replace four with two by two. Now, do you recognize this? It's exactly the same thing. It's a sine of a double angle. Double angle in this case is 4x. So this is sine of 4x. This is 2. This is cosine 4x equals to sine x. You see how everything is rolls in? Do you recognize this? It's also a sine of double angle. In this case, double angle is 8. So it's sine of 8x is equal to sine of x. Well, that's much simpler, right? So, let's wipe out this thing, this thing, and that's the only thing which we have. And we actually did solve something very similar, um, but I will do it again. So it's sine 8x minus sine x is equal to 0. And the way to do it is to convert it into a product. And if product is equal to 0, means every component is equal to 0, either or. All right, so what's the, uh, how, how to convert this into, um, into a product? It's different between two signs, right? Um, well, um, the way to do it is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have to, to take the middle point between them, uh, which is uh, 8 and 1, it's 9 halves, right? So sine, instead of 8x, I will put 9x over 2, uh, and the difference between them is uh, 7, so it's plus 7x over 2 uh, minus sine 9x to minus 7x over 2 equals to 0, right? So again, this is middle point, which is half of their sum, 8 plus 1, 9 over 2. And this is the uh, half of the difference this is 1, this is 8. So we take the middle point, middle point plus or middle point minus. So this is 9 half, and this is 7 half, and 7 half. So 8 is 9 half minus, uh, plus 7 half, and 1 is 9 half minus 7. Now, why did I do it? Because if you will open this up, it's sine cosine, and this will be uh, also sine cosine, so the sine cosine will be reduced. Okay, let me just do it um, in details. Sine 9x over 2 cosine 7x over 2 plus cosine 9x over 2 sine 7x over 2, right? Now, minus sine 9x over 2 cosine 7x over 2. Now, minus, but this is minus, so it's plus uh, cosine 9x over 2 sine 7x over 2 equals to 0. And this, this thing and this thing is reduced, so I have only this, which is the same as this. So it's 2 cosine 9x over 2 sine x 7x over 2 equals to 0, which means either cosine 9x over 2 equals to 0 or sine 7x over 2 equals to 0. So let's check what uh, solutions to this and this. 
In this case, it's easy. Uh, 7x over 2 equals to pi n, which means uh, x is equal to 2 pi n over 7. However, however, we should really exclude this thing, right? So this formula is true for all integer n, except, except those which are multiple of 7. If n is multiple of 7, then this will be reduced, and I will have, I will have 2 pi something, which means one of these, and these are not the solution. So this formula is good, but only if n is not multiple of 7. Now, similarly here, um, solution to this is 9x over 2 equals to pi over uh, 2 plus pi n. So x is equal to well, 9x is equal to pi plus 2 pi n is equal to pi times 2n plus 1. So x is equal to pi 2n plus 1 divided by 9. And again, it's only for those cases where 2n plus 1 is not multiple of 9. Because if 2n plus 1 is multiple of 9, then we have a problem. By the way, in the answers to this, I'm specifying conditions slightly different. I'm saying that uh, something like if uh, n minus 4 is divisible by, by 9, um, then, it's, uh, then it's not a solution, which means exactly the same, the same thing as this. And uh, it's a good exercise for you, actually, to, to check that this is exactly the same as whatever the website uh, says the solution is. Uh, well, basically, that's it. What's the what's this uh, lesson which you actually might, might think about from this particular problem? You see, we have multiplied by sine uh, of x, and the whole thing on the left uh, just rolled in from from x to, to 2x to, to 2x to 4x and from, x, from 4x to, 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 to 8x. Well, it's a, it's a guess, it's a trick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but again, the more problems like this you will solve, the more it will be inculc inculcated in your mind that there are certain tricks which you can actually use, like multiply by something, divide by something, add something convert uh, sum into a product, product into a sum. All these techniques are your tools in your toolbox. And another lesson actually is that if you multiply by um, uh, an expression which contains the variable, we, we multiply by sine x in, in both cases, uh, from both sides, you might add certain new solutions which are not really the solutions of the original equation, and that's why you have to be very careful. And that's why I excluded these cases at the very end. That's it. Next. Sine x equals sine 2x times cosine 3x. OK. Um, again, there is something which we have to do to reduce it to more or less solvable uh, shape and form. Well, my first guess would be to present sine of 2x as 2 sine x cosine x, and then reduce by sine x. Is it a good guess? Sure. Why not? So, however, if we just reduce by sine x without saying anything, we might lose solutions in this case. 
in the previous problem, we multiply by sine x, and we added uh, solutions which are not really solutions of the original equation. Here, obviously, if sine x is equal to 0, which means x is equal to pi n, these are solutions to the original equation, because this is 0 and this is 0. However, that's not the case if we will reduce. So we might lose these solutions. So what we have to say is, OK, we already got a certain number of solutions. These are solutions. Not all the solutions, but solutions, nevertheless, to the original equation. Now we can reduce it by sine x, and we will have 1 is equal to 2 cosine x cosine 3x. OK. So, what's next? If you don't know what to do and you have the product, try to convert it into a sum. If you have a sum, try to convert it into a product. That's all I can say. Now, um, what's that? Well, this is uh, the, um, let's see, cosine of 2x plus x uh, uh, plus cosine 2x minus x. So again, between 1 and 3, 2 is a middle point, and uh, so the x is 2x minus x, and this is 2x plus x. Now, if you will open the parentheses here, it's cosine 2x. Uh, hmm. No, I need 3x. Sorry. It's 3x. So it's cosine 3x times cosine x minus sine sine. This is cosine times cosine plus sine sine. So sines will be reduced, and two cosines will give me exactly this. So the equation which I have is this one. Right? So 2 cosine x times cosine 3x is this sum. Now, is it better? Well, let's present it in this way. Now, here is another observation. This is double this, right? 4x is double 2x. You remember the formula for double angle? Cosine 2 phi is equal to cosine square minus sine square, which is equal to, if I will replace sine with 1 minus cosine, I will have uh, 2 cosine square phi minus 1, right? So I can always replace cosine of 2 phi with 2 cosine square phi minus 1. And that's what I'm doing if that's exactly in this case, where phi is actually 2x. So it will be 2 cosine square 2x minus 1. That's what cosine of 4x is. Plus cosine 2x equals to 1. Now, what is this? How to solve this? Hey, this is a quadratic equation for cosine, to, uh, cosine of 2x. So let's just put y is equal to cosine of 2x. And now the equation is 2y squared plus y minus 2 equals to 0, right? That's a quadratic equation. If I will get y, then from y I will get x, correct? All right. formula for quadratic equation, this is 4, this is minus 1, plus minus square root of 1 plus 16, which is equal to 
minus 1 plus minus square root of 7 square root of 17 over 4 now this is a cosine of 2x now think about this this is slightly more than 4 right so if I have minus here and minus here I will have greater than 4 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator, so my ratio will be uh, less than minus 1. So by absolute value, it will be greater than 1. Si uh, cosine cannot be greater than 1. So minus actually doesn't, doesn't work for us, only plus. So cosine of 2x is equal to square root of 17 minus 1 over 4. That's what we have here. Now, solution to this is 2x is equal plus minus arc cosine of this monster plus 2 pi n. And the final solution is divide by 2. plus pi n. That's the solution. Plus this, which we already got from the very beginning. These are two sets of solutions. Well, that's it for today. Um, uh, I, I, I do recommend you to go through these problems again just by yourself and uh, just try to solve and uh, check the solutions. Uh, uh, the answers are on the web page. Uh, see if you can get the same thing. Just to, you know, to inculcate into your brain that there are certain techniques, tricks, whatever you want to call them, um, which can be used to solve. Every time you solve another problem, you train your mind to find your way in the unknown situation. Because that's, that's what the, the, the skill which you can develop and which, we will be, and which you will have uh, in, invariable during your, whatever the professional life you have. That's it. Thank you very much and good luck.